Shanti. Om means I am. Shanti means peace. The meditation of Raj Yoga is the discovery of this eternal truth that I am a being of peace. Om means I am. Shanti means peace. Generally, we are unaware of the tremendous energy that we have within our own being. We allow our mind to be distracted by all the things that are outside of us. We don't generally acknowledge that the soul itself is the creator of its own thoughts, its own feelings, and even its own personality. Our life is usually based on a series of reactions to everything that's happening in terms of the external world of stimuli. Raj Yoga meditation enables one to discover how to become the creator. I am the creator of my own thoughts. I can therefore also be the creator of my own feelings and even the type of personality that I would like to have. Through a very simple practice of turning my mind inwards and being able to direct my thoughts, I'm able to become the creator once again. Let us experiment with a very simple exercise. This is the first step of Raj Yoga meditation, turning the mind inwards, directing our thoughts to be able to acknowledge and further be able to actually discipline and channel this enormous potential of energy that each one of us possesses. We'll begin the first exercise. Om Shanti. I allow the body to sit quietly. I become aware of the many different energies that make up life. As the body sits quietly, I'm aware of the physical, the biological energies of this valuable instrument of mine. For a little while, I would like to turn my attention away from my physical energies and focus my energy inwards. Consciously, I allow this physical instrument of mine to let go of the tension in the muscles. Seeing the world outside, I 
choose. For a few moments, not to see it. I let the sounds of the external world fade into the background so that they are no longer a distraction. And on the screen of my mind, I visualize a point of light. I can locate this point of light specifically. As the body sits quietly, I become aware of the life force, the source of life, in the center of my forehead, just behind. This is who I am. I am a point of eternal light. In this awareness of my eternal form, I gather the full force of my energy within. I know I am the master of this physical instrument. I can now direct the way in which my physical senses function. What it is I see through these eyes. What it is I choose to communicate through my lips. And even what it is I wish to absorb from the information coming to me through my ears. I, the being of light, the eternal soul, am the creator. I, this point of infinitesimal energy, am the master. Becoming aware of this, I am able to send out light and life throughout this physical body and use this body for that which is constructive, that which is filled with goodness. Om Shanti. This next exercise is an experiment be able to discover how to direct my own thoughts. I sit quietly. My thoughts focus in the center of my forehead. I journey into my own inner world. I 
discover a whole world within my own being. I am the eternal being of light. And within myself, I have the capacity to choose whichever type of thought I want to create. For a few moments, I want to direct my thoughts into the consciousness of eternity, the awareness of truth. Who am I? I know that this body was created at a specific time. It has a beginning. It has a fixed lifespan. And so, at some point of time, later or sooner. The time span will run out and this body will finish. But I, the being of light, before this body was shaped and I will continue to exist after this body finishes. I exist beyond the limits of time space. I, the being of light, have a form that is infinitesimal, just a point. Everything contained within a point. I, the point of light, am immortal. In this awareness of eternity, going beyond the limits of time and distance. I'm able to have a glimpse of truth. That which is reality. That which is unchangeable. is the constant anchor of the universe. I stay in this awareness of I, the being of light, and touch truth itself.
ஓம் சாந்தி எக்ஸ்பெரிமெண்ட் வித் சர்ட் எக்ஸசைஸ் the discovery of the inner being sitting quietly my body calm relaxed and still of life may change no matter how relationships change or even how the world changes i am eternally a being of light within all the changing facts of the universe I am constant I am point of light with peace with love within my own being Just 
discovering myself, I begin to make friends with myself. I acknowledge the value of my own existence, the beauty of my own being, and in this recognition, I once more begin to love myself and respect myself. with these exercises, one is able to discover the sweetness and the beauty that lies in knowing the self. The more I know myself, the more I'm able to maintain the awareness of my true identity and move away from all the different compartments and limitations that I have imposed on myself. The image that we generally have of ourselves is a fairly negative one, but that's simply because we don't know who we are. And so we allow external influences to restrict our thinking and put us into boxes and create bondages and feel the pain of those bondages. Meditation is the method of liberation, of becoming free from the false impositions that I have created for myself and I have accepted in terms of what the world has imposed. It is important to experiment with these ideas, sitting quietly, in solitude, in silence within. However, it is equally important to experiment with these concepts during our day-to-day -day activity. Having had a glimpse of the identity of the self, then, when it's time to leave my little corner of meditation and move into the world outside, I must learn to maintain this awareness of being a point of light, using the physical instrument to look out into the world, using the lips to express my thoughts and ideas to communicate with others, being the master, listening to the information that I receive, but being the master, deciding, discerning what it is which has value, what it is that will enhance my own awareness retaining that information, communicating that information, but also being able to filter out that which will pollute my mind, that which will cause my feelings to become corrupt, so that I maintain the integrity of this experience of eternal consciousness. Both things are aligned together. My time in silence, experiencing the eternity of the self, but using this awareness in my day-to-day -day activity. If through the day I maintain this awareness, then whenever there is a moment 
at which actions can finish, I could turn inwards and come to the state of Om Shanti and the awareness of Om Shanti, the awareness of peace, is also then expressed through the work that I do during the day. Om Shanti.